when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong but i know what you're going through i know cause i've been there too i don't walk right and i don't talk right and there ain't nothing welcome wrong. to vet ranch i'm dr carrie and this is florence florence was brought in um, because she was moments away from being euthanized at a shelter she was trapped by animal control, um, and as you can see, she's got a lot of drool, and if you can hear over the dog barking in the back, she's got a lot of, and kiwi screaming, you can hear over those two things. She's breathing really loud, she's got a lot of nasal congestion, um, and she's also covered in these scabs um, and has a lot of hair loss. You see all these scabs on her head quite a bit. So they did a skin scraping there, and she has what's called no Tedri's cat eye which is the cat uh, scabies, which is contagious to people. So we are keeping her isolated. She's so sweet though. <laughs> she just wants love. She just wants love. So we are gonna treat her for that. Um, we're gonna give her antibiotics for her skin infection. We're gonna bathe her to kind of get all these crusts off. And then we're gonna give her, she's just so sweet. Look how she stands up on her tippy toes. I love that so much. We're going to go ahead and um, give her an oral medication once for two doses that is going to kill the mites as well. Um, so she's eating great, believe it or not, drinking water. Um, we'll check her for intestinal parasites too since I'm sure she's going to be loaded. Um, and then we'll just try to get her healthy. We're checking on our little Florence, also known as Flo. She's doing amazing. She loves to talk. What's that? What's that? You'll get lots of love soon as, as soon as you can't give everyone your scabies. I promise. All of her salivation has kind of gone away and she's still sneezing a little bit, but so much better. It's only been about eight days and Flo is doing amazing. The crusties on her head have kind of resolved. Um, we're about to give her her second bath. That looks a lot better. She's not drooling anymore. She can breathe easier and she's gained weight. So it's going to take her a while to get all of her hair back. But so far she's just done amazing. We are sending Florence now to her foster home with a rescue and then we'll recheck her in a couple weeks and I'm going to give her her last dose of medication for the mites um, just to make sure we're completely clear but she's doing amazing. I can't wait to recheck her. Really? You hate this. She hates it. Ooh, yuck. It tastes so bad. Well, it's time for us to tell Flo bye. Our little Florence has sure been a sweet girl and she is really flourishing in her foster home. She has gotten all of her hair back and she's gained weight and now she just looks like a healthy, normal kitty. She's over her respiratory infection, so she is ready to go to a forever home and you can see that she is very affectionate and lovable. She really has kind of a dog-like personality. She's at the vet today. She could care less. She just wants to be petted and hang out with me. Um, we also want to say happy birthday to a very special girl named Claire. Claire Miller said on our YouTube channel that she wanted someone to donate $50 for her birthday. And guess what? They did right away. So thank you so much for thinking of us. Um, and we are excited that people like you watch our videos with such a kind heart. And thank you guys so much for everything. And we will see you next time. I want you next to me. I said I do. I said I do. Please, in sickness or in health. Always be true, always be true And I want you next to me I said I do, I said I do, please I wanna be there for you, honey Working my job and making money